Iowa Chief Justice Marsha Turnus and Justices David Baker and Michael Streit voted with their colleagues to make Iowa the third state and the first Midwestern state to allow gay marriage. We were aware of what the popular opinion was about same-sex marriage in Iowa. And in fact, there had been demonstrations outside the judicial branch building prior to the oral arguments in the case. This case is about the constitutionality of an Iowa law. That had no role in our decision-making process because our decision is based on the rule of law. And it's, we don't look to public opinion polls or what politicians are saying about what the law is because that's our role. People go into these decisions knowing uh, that they could lose their chosen profession and they do the right thing anyway. But it's really interesting because I've hardly ever heard any of them say that they are doing it that they think it's courageous when they do it. They're just doing what they have to do. It's the right thing. I think it was in the back of our minds that this particular decision was controversial enough, that there could be enough um, opposition to our decision or disappointment in the decision that it might come back to haunt us when we were on the ballot for retention. A lot of money came in from out of these out-of-state uh, organizations who oppose same-sex marriage, and they formed a, a local program called uh, Iowa for Freedom. That program's mission, and this is from their website, was to send a message in Iowa and across the country that judges ignore the will of the people at their peril. So the, the focus was really on retribution against us for having uh, ruled the way we did and to intimidate judges across the country. It struck a chord in voters who I think are inclined to be, um, you know, to have fears and to doubt government. And it was successful. They're celebrating a history-making election in the state of Iowa. For the first time ever, voters booted out three Iowa Supreme Court justices. They are elected judges, and so that's why federal judges are appointed, and so they're not subject to these same kind of pressures. But I think that, um, that the politicization of the judiciary is something that is very current, as well as the issue of gay marriage. We took an oath of office in which, in which we promised to uphold the Iowa Constitution without fear, favor, or hope of reward. And that is what we did. The Profile in Courage Award is important because it reassures Americans that public officials can do the right thing. It is now my great honor to ask former Chief Justice of the Iowa Supreme Court, Marsha Turnus, to come forward. It is important, I think, particularly now when we're so disappointed in government officials and there, there is such polarization, and when there's such politicization of the judiciary like there's never been before. It's important to recognize that there are these underlying values of the rule of law and fair and impartial courts, and that there are judges who are committed to those principles. And those are, are principles that are consistent with our founding father's vision of how this government should work. Our government can work if the individuals who play roles in government are committed to making it work. It's just that simple.